Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the Dallas Daily Show podcast coming at you from the Neighborhood Loan Studio here in St. Louis, Missouri. Today's topic, we're continuing this whole week on your winning game plan, and today is part two. Let's hop on into it. I told you a little bit about my story yesterday, and I told you a little bit about this idea that I thought I was losing at life, and if I was losing, there had to be a way to win. If I wasn't gaining points, maybe I could figure out a way to gamify my life, and I could begin to win physically, mentally, emotionally, spiritually, relationally, all the things, right? So that was kind of the concept of where today's conversation is going to go because it developed into four eyes. Now, yesterday I talked to you a little bit about the four fail factors. I'm going to mention those to you again, F-A-I-L, right? It's an acronym. As you get to know me, you're going to realize this guy really loves his acronyms. He's got timely. He's got the four eyes. I mean, I've got them all. Fail factor is one of the biggest things because when you're finding yourself in anxiety or when you're finding yourself in depression or even just frustration, relational unfulfillment, if you're finding yourself in any of the four fail factors, it's usually because one, fatigue, two, it might be anxiety about stuff. And we're going to break all of these down this week for you as well. Three, I, the identity right? There's an identity issue of who you believe you are and what you think is possible for you. And L, the lack of accountability. Nothing is worse than isolating yourself. Nothing is worse than not having the accountability for becoming a better person. When you're alone, you are at risk. So fatigue, anxiety, identity, and lack of accountability. Those are the four fail factors. And what I realized was, wait, I can do certain things every day that are going to help me. They're going to help me grow as an individual. They're going to help me grow as a person. It's actually going to become the right game plan. And that's what we're going to talk about today. We're going to talk about I number one. So I'm going to list all four I's for you. And just know that we're going to unpack them a couple of minutes each day. I number one is insight. Insight. I realized that what was happening when I was in the darkest place of my depression, I called it the DDP, the deep, dark place. Not Diamond Dallas Page, for those of you who are, woo, not that, for those of you who are old school 90s wrestling fans. I'm talking about the deep, dark place where that's where Serbius lives, right? That three-headed dog we talked about last week on the pod. That's where hopelessness, helplessness, and worthlessness live, and it's your very own hell, that deep, dark place. And what happens in there is it's still that kind of spiral. Again, everybody, I'm going to sing a lot of the same songs from episode to episode because that repetition is going to help you gain traction toward a new trajectory. But that spiral over on this side, that's where the same old thinking was occurring. That's where the same old cycles were occurring. That's where a trigger would f- would shape a belief and it would be- become a behavior. My wife talked about this uh, previously on our Defeating Depression podcast. She talked about, um, she called it the great pancake sedation. Now, if you listen to episode, I think it was two of the pot, I talked about putting the donut down. Pancakes were also a problem for me. I would I would create a pancake the size of the pan. It's insane. But it was like that was the only thing that brought me any level of dopamine. I could not feel when I was in the darkest place of my depression. Nothing was bringing joy. A newborn boy at that time was not bringing me joy. I felt lifeless. I felt hopeless. And it was that same old thinking and same old cycles And I did the mistake that we all start doing, which is I just, like, I'm just going to, well, two, right? We can either sedate ourselves into it, and we can lean into that, or the second thing is we do the consumption game. I'm going to just start consuming mindset books. I'm going to start consuming all the stuff. Mm, I realized that wasn't actually doing it. This is where I came up with the idea I need to quit going for quantity, and I need to start reading for quality. I need to read a book, and sometimes... I will. Re- it takes me months to read books now. And if you ever recommend me a book, just know there's a chance I don't get to it for the next three and a half years because I'm so far behind on that. Because there's only certain books that I'm like, yes, if it's not in this vein, I'm not reading it right now. But now I'll read a book and I might be three sentences in and I stop and I go, oh, that's the insight that I need for today. That's the one thing. That's the one thing that I need for today. One insight. That's it. 
one learning, one revelation that becomes actionable and implementable. I think implementable is a word, but it becomes actionable and implementable for you from one insight. And I realized if I started learning one thing that I could implement into my world, one revelation, one like aha moment, one light bulb turning on moment from what I was reading, I didn't have to keep ha ha consuming the books, consuming the pancakes, consuming the donuts, right? I didn't have to keep consuming all that crap because one thing made all the difference. One thing, one little insight. So that's what I want you to think about today. What can you learn today? In one way, can you expand your mind and expand your thinking? It doesn't have to be a lot. We're taught to mass consume, and I'm telling you, my friend, you don't need it. You have, If you had one actionable insight every day and you actually start to develop it and take the idea and turn it into a value and do a thing, and let's say you chew on that one insight every day, 365 days a year. Isn't that better than reading 10 books with 365? Isn't that better than reading 30,000 words that do nothing? One new action item a day. Imagine the moment by moment momentum you could build in your life. The positive trajectory you could have in your life if you built it moment by moment with one insight. And that was the first of the four points. So my challenge to you today is what will you learn today? And maybe it's this podcast. Maybe this is the insight for today of like, oh, I can gain new insights every day. We have a tool for it. I'm going to show it to you. It's it's available on our website. It's called the Positive Play Call Book. And again, I'm going to hold it up here. This is your daily positive play call. You can see from it Get it a little closer, a little further. Taylor, what should I do with it? She's telling me. There it is, a little closer. Boom. We're trying not to overlue it, but it's literally, guys, it's a print-up card. Look, it's I, I print mine on cardstock, and you just cut it up. You just cut it up into cards like this. That's it. And you can keep them as bookmarks. You can keep them. You can put them on your. Uh, you can put them on your fridge. You can put them on your counter. You can put them on your makeup mirror, ladies. You can do. You can put it in the dashboard of your car, because we're going to give you positive play calls that you can put everywhere. Micro messaging is going to change your mindset over time. I guarantee it. Because it's done it for me. I no longer have depression. I no longer suffer from severe anxiety disorder. These positive play calls have transformed my thinking on a day-in, day-out basis. One insight every day. And today, here's what you're going to write on your card. You're going to write, I am gaining new insights every day. That's it. That's your positive play call. That's the one thing you have to do today. Download it at DallasDailyShow.com. Cut it up. And then on today, it's just right. I am gaining new insights every day. That's all you got to do, my friends. That's it. That's what I got for you for today's positive play call. Tomorrow, we're going to continue on the winning game plan part three. I'm going to give you that second I. So first, we got insight. Tomorrow, we're going to talk about imagination because it's insight, imagination, intention, and impact. Those are the four. Insight, imagination, intention, and impact. We learned the first one today. Tomorrow we'll talk about that idea of imagination. But you, my friend, are capable of gaining new insights every day. That's all I got for you. Go out there. Have a championship day. Thanks for listening to my dad's podcast. For more tools, go to DallasDailyShow.com. Be sure to like, subscribe, and share. Thank you.